Hi everyone, we are back two weeks later with our testing. So here's the background story. Two weeks ago we took off gel polish and I will link the videos below. But we took gel polish off and we've been testing the IBX treatment on this hand to see um, what kind of progress, what kind of results we're going to get. So this hand had initial treatment right after the removal, and which was two weeks ago, and then we did another mani manicure uh, last week. So this one had two treatments, and this one had no treatment, and I kind of uh, am surprised to say, or see, or reveal, that they kind of both look the same. <laughs> um, this one looks a tiny bit better. But it's not a huge difference. So I think the results with IBX do happen. It helps, but the, the help is initially most visible, I would say, because after, right after the removal with the IBX, no, no doubt that this hand looked better. And this one had a lot of white spots and just didn't look as even. But this hand within a few days kind of caught up with how it, Looked, I don't know. So today um, I already took a picture of how the nails look now, and I'm gonna actually remove, I'm gonna wipe them with alcohol, actually, alcohol mixed with acetone, and let's do it now. And I'll take another picture because sometimes when um, the nails um, have oil on them or creams or things like that the damage is kind of hidden that's why oil kind of covers everything so nicely i mean oil is beneficial but also it covers things so let's just see how the nails look now when they are wiped scrubbed with alcohol so that's gonna tell us that how truly they look so this doesn't look bad it doesn't look it doesn't look bad at all they've grown a lot in a week and let's see this one. So we're gonna do a quick manicure and and um, IBX on the on this hand. But I'll wipe them. Am I scrubbing too hard? No. 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 This nail broke last week, so that's a little shorter. A little shorter. And these hands have been through a lot, dishes and stuff. <laughs> so I'm wondering if this is actually a little bit of a gel polish here. Dishes and cleaning and, and cleaning and everything. Bleach. bleach, no gloves. No, this is kind of damage. Damage. Oh no. Oh. Okay, so let's just take a quick picture and I'll add my other phone. Okay, so the pictures are taken and we're going to do the IBX on this hand as I'm manicuring the other hand. So this is the repair, IBX repair. And this is supposed to be used only on the damaged area. So kind of, let's just see where the damaged area is. I would say kind of approximately here. Yeah, a little bit of kind of peeling the lamination. And uh, we're gonna put it under the heat for a minute. Okay, this one goes to the side, and I'm gonna. Where's your timer? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna move the towel a little bit. So the timer is here. I'm gonna time it for one minute, and this hand is going to get a manicure. So nice and short. Yes. Yes, please. All right. going to do this so you can see the time. All right. I'm going 
going to snip this little flaky piece of skin. Am I hurting you? No? It's been a minute. Okay, so it's been a minute. We're gonna wipe. Okay, this one. So whatever didn't soak in, we're gonna wipe away. We're gonna dab away actually. This is the correct term. And it goes under the heat, sorry, under the lamp for 30 seconds. And it's important to uh, not do a wet manicure before the IBX treatment. Okay, this goes in. Because the water interferes with the treatment. So it should be done on the dry nails. I always do my manicures dry, so it doesn't kind of matter. I actually do them after the manicure, so I do the treatment after manicure. Some separation along the. Uh, I know, right here? Yeah, along the sidewalls. Oh, like, right along like, here? Oh. Like, right along, like, deep down there, it's it's separating. That's been happening on a few of my nails. But I'm just not really nice to my hands. Like, I'm yeah, constantly nice prying and pulling with my fingers and, and using my fingernails in ways I don't think I should be using them. Mm hmm. Done. We're gonna wipe this. Um, I'm gonna wipe this with alcohol. And now this is the IBX. I call it a sealant, but it's just called IPX, and this one goes on the full nail. It doesn't have to kind of go on perfectly because it will, when the product uh, kind of melts into the nails, it goes all over the nails, so it doesn't have to be perfectly covered like a nail polish. You don't have to kind of waste your time to try to paint it on perfectly. And now this is supposed to be go under the heat for two minutes. Two minutes, alright. Okay, so I need you a little bit closer here. Now that I'm looking at the nails, like it does look, the ABX side does look a little better. I think it's, uh, it kind of looks like that initially and then the the results almost like go away a little bit i don't know if the product wears off a little bit because initially like you're like wow yeah that that is a big difference and then a week later i'm not sure are you timing timing it oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay i'm watching so we're push back all right we're at, right now we're at 419 and we have to wait until 5 30. okay I'm barely, when I'm doing this, I'm very flat, so I'm just catching the, the true cuticle that's on the nail. And I'm really, really gentle. Because we've been doing these manicures on a weekly basis, so there's not really much there. So you have to be super, super gentle. This little flake. Actually, this one I'm going to 
snip later, but I'm not going to do it now because I want to finish what I'm doing here first. Okay. Two okay. minutes. So we're going to wipe this. We're going to dab the excess. So whatever didn't soak into the nail, we don't need on the nail. And each time I do this, I use a different um, let's go some different uh, cotton pad. Okay, this one, please. Okay, let me just snip this because this was bugging me here. I'm going to add the links to the original videos below. What are you sniffing? The stuff smells funny. No, it doesn't. It does so. Really? Yeah, it's kind of weird. What does it smell like? Um, like a strange soapy... No, I think it's the soap that you used on your hands. No, 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 no. It has like this doesn't very have strong fragrance. No, it doesn't. Why don't you come smell? No, thank you. No. No. Please. I'm operating heavy machinery. <laughs> no, it has kind of that, that. No, it doesn't smell. It does so. We're gonna sniff it. No, but, like the product, not your hands. No, smell no, the thank fingers. You. Smell the fingers. It smells kind of like a chemical a little bit. But. It's kind of got this soapy smell. Just smell. This is after being cured and yeah, applied he's a few right. times. It does. <laughs> you heard it first. I was right. Back a little bit? Yeah. The fan is making a lot of noise. Okay, we're gonna turn this off and then wipe on this hand to reveal these beautiful nails. Squeak, eh? squeak, squeak. All right, so let's manicure this hand. Now, wouldn't it be better to manicure the hand and then apply the eye bands? Mm -hmm. You could. It doesn't I mean, matter. Now you're kind of filing through product, right? Not really. I am, but, and actually for that reason, normally I actually do the manicure first because uh, once the manicure is done, I like to seal the free edge. That's kind of how I see it. Um, so that's what I do, but for the purpose of this video, actually it depends. If I have extra time, I will do um, one hand, I will manicure one hand as the other one is getting IBX and then I switch. Mm. But when I do have the time, I actually prefer to do the manicure first and then do the IBX. But like I said, I always do dry manicure because if there was any type of cuticle remover involved that's being wiped away with water or any type of soaking of the nail, then you don't want to do the IBX after the nail plate has uh, water absorbed into it. Mm. You know, but you, kind of looking at the nails, it is kind of impressive because you had, we tested so many different products on your nails, then we did the hard gel for two applications, so you wore the hard gel for 
actually you had the base gold like the reliable base for like six weeks once then the hard gel twice and considering that we filed it away uh -huh. and then we tested the Luxio gels you know this is not bad at all like these nails two weeks later look amazing oh. like they don't look like they're damaged How's the shape and uh, length? No. Good. No. And you haven't been using the oil, no? What? Oil, you know, like the treatment oil. Like you said that you would use it <gasps> last time. Oh no! <laughs> not even once. <laughs> oh, not even once. Sorry. Wait, does beard oil count? No. Oh, I tried. Because it's actually not oil. Well, is there an oil in that thing? It's that mostly oil? silicones. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But it was worth worth a shot. Try to maybe. Because I mean, I use that on my beard all the time, so it maybe. probably would get on the nails a little bit. Yeah. Because I also put it on my tattoos. Oh really? Yeah, it darkens them up a bit, and it makes my tattoos smell nice. <laughs> because that's because important. Because you sniff them. Yes. <laughs> Scratch and sniff. <laughs> Please, come smell my tattoos. Okay, this one goes back. So I'm curious what's after watching this video, what do viewers think? Let me know guys in the comments section what you think about our test and let me know if you're using IBX and if you find that it's effective if it helps or after this watching this video if you're going to use it like although the results are not shocking because you know after all it's a cosmetic it's not a miracle um, I do like it <laughs> It does help, especially initially, like if you have the gel polish removed and the nails feel a little naked, it is a nice treatment. So when the client leaves, the nails are not uh, feeling so naked. Because I know it, it just makes the nails feel a little bit better. They are a little bit more reinforced and protect, protected from further damage. So. I'm gonna wipe these nails again so the manicure is done. How long did it take us? Like, kind of uh, 20, 20 minutes. minutes. Yeah. yeah. Because you started the clock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So normally a manicure like that takes me about 15 minutes. But let's just say the additional five for the kind of going back and forth, stopping. Mm -hmm. Taking pictures. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe them again with alcohol and we will take pictures. Again? Yes. Yes. Yes, again. Pictures again. And I am going to also post a link to my Patreon account and over there I post additional information. So if you are interested in the links to all my products that I'm using and they're not sponsored so um, well they're not 
but if you're interested please support my channel by going to patreon and if you also sign up you're gonna be receiving um, emails with notifications of my new videos so that's pretty cool okay I'm going to take another picture and I will be right back it's on okay we're back I took pictures now with the oil on and you know I was as I was taking the pictures you can especially tell that the surface does look better especially when they're wiped with alcohol I have to say it looks smoother something looks different so and here they are two weeks after removing Gel, gel polish and about a month after removing hard gel so there it is guys um thank you so much for watching and we might be back next weekend but i'm not sure we'll see if we're gonna do a follow-up maybe depending okay thank you so much for watching bye